Everybody's wrong. Rewrote the song. Thoughts become action. Tell me what's happening. What's your mind wrapped in or wrapped around? Hey guys, so in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create a smooth gradient in Adobe Illustrator. As some of you may know, in Photoshop when you add a gradient, it goes across a whole piece of type for example. So the gradient's nice and smooth across it, however, on Illustrator when you do it, it tends to put it on individual letters and I'm going to show you how to get it across the full word. So this can be used on anything of course, but I'm just going to use a word for example. I'll put the thumbnail on the screen now as well so you can get an idea of what exactly I mean by this. And just before I get into the tutorial, I just want to let you know that I'm probably going to start doing some more really short tutorials like this on just basic tips on Photoshop or Illustrator or whichever one I'm using at the time. So if you have any requests, feel free to leave them in the comments down below and let's get into it. Okay, so what you're first going to want to do is get your type or whatever it is you're using. So I'm just going to write gradient. Oops. And apologies for the um, clicks and the keystrokes and stuff. I don't really, I don't have a shock mount yet for my mic, so it's quite loud. So bear with me with that. Geo grotesque. Let's go bold. Just make it a big enough size for you to see it. And what you're gonna do from here is right click and click, um, click on create outlines. So now you have that. And I'm just gonna make this smaller. Myself more room. I'm gonna open the layers. I'm going to do is right click on the layer, on the um, type, sorry, click on ungroup. And as you can see, these are all now compound paths. So you're going to right click again, click on release compound path. And you'll see that it takes, well, it makes all these individual shapes, like where the whole, where the gaps are. So what you can do now is just highlight everything, right click, make compound path, and then add a gradient. And as you can see, it now puts the gradient across the full word rather than it just being on individual letters. So I hope this tutorial has helped some of you guys. I know this was definitely something that I needed to know when I first started using Illustrator and it took me a while to figure it out. But yeah, I hope this has helped you guys. Like I said before, feel free to leave some suggestions in the comments down below and I'll try and get around to doing them. Thanks for watching, guys.